Who are we bringing in now, Taylor? We're bringing in Lowell and Budgie of Curious Creatures. Let's get into it. Coming right up. Hello. Look at you Hello. Guys. <laughs> How are you? Oh, uh, we're very well, thank you. What's in the cup? What are you drinking? Uh, we're drinking tea. This is well, Yorkshire I tea. We're all, Yorkshire yeah. tea, mate. All right. I got we're, green tea in mine. Green tea. I have. Uh, I have some some uh, Bob Mould sludge at the bottom of my <laughs> cup here. <laughs> oh, I like a bit of sludge. Yeah. <laughs> where? Uh, tell me, where are you guys both uh, both piping in from here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which in, part um, of the world? I'm in Berlin. Berlin and Law. Yeah. Budge is in Berlin and Law. I'm in uh, Los Angeles. Oh wow! Nice. So yeah, we're half a world away. <laughs> Right so, so I'm kind of like you know, I I, I ate and I thought I'm really tired. <laughs> so like I've just woken up again. It's really good. I start to have yeah. my second morning. Yes. Right, right, well, right. guys, we appreciate this so much. Thank you a, a ton for joining, despite the the time zone change here, right. and the, the challenge of that. Um, I'm so happy we get to do this show with you guys. It's a great show. Um, Curious Creatures for everybody who's listening. It's a new podcast you guys started. Um, I've heard the James Murphy one, which I love. Um, James Murphy from LCD Sound System. Uh, tell us, uh, one of you, both of you, tell us how, what this show is, how it started, and why you're doing it. Well, we, should we do it in unison, Lol? Yes, yeah. Do it in harmony. We, we, could, we could try <laughs> we could do that, it can't we? Word yeah. for word in unison, because we've rehearsed it so much. Yeah. <laughs> Lol, over to you, please. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you know, a couple of years ago, I, I bumped into uh, Budgie again in, in LA. He was in here in town for a, a show. And um, we went out for breakfast with uh, our friend Joe Wong, who's also... The producer of uh, Curious yeah. Creatures, and we jumped you outside a cafe. Yeah, he did. He surprised. He jumped me outside in downtown LA, which is not a great idea. I've lived here a long time, so I know if anybody does that, you've probably got to shank them at that point. <laughs> you know, so it um, was very early in the morning. I saw yeah. Lol outside, and I was like inside yeah. drinking coffee and orange juice, and I sneaked out the door and went. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and he was about to kill me. <laughs> so, so, well, I nearly had a heart attack, but it was good. Did. And and we we sat and had breakfast, and we decided we've got to do a lot of things together because mm. we met each other 40 years ago, like 1979 or something, on the Join Hands tour, right? That's and, the, uh, the tour I joined Susie and the Banshees on, yeah. and the Cure were opening. We were all yeah. wow. little boys yeah. then. Yeah, so we, we you know, we, we've been through a lot of things in our lives that are very very similar and so we got talking about stuff and uh, i persuaded Budge to come out here again and and uh, mess around with me and do a few things and and the podcast is one of the things that came out of it all. that's right you said we should do something together right. yeah and my head went what's he on about what do you mean do something yeah. together like drum thing and uh, but what we decided and realized straight away was we i just said yeah, that's what we should do. We should do something together. Right. And ever since then, we've just gone, yep, sounds like <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> you know, you, well, you guys have a, a natural chemistry together. You, you obviously have an affection for one another. It comes right. across. It's part of what makes the show compelling right. and part of what makes the show work. Um, it's, it's interesting. I was listening to um, another one of our guest shows, uh, Tom Mullen, and he was talking to uh, this musician, Walter Schreifels from a New York hardcore band. And right. he, he had mentioned, it actually made me think of you guys. He had mentioned that Walter had said, you know, the type of music we're doing was called post hardcore. And he had mm. said that um, when he heard that term, his, his, his stomach kind of dropped because he thought, well, shit, man, post means it's after the, the, the cool thing that happened. <laughs> and I, and I remember thinking like, well, that's, that's interesting. And sounds mm. You know, it's like a cool talking point. But when I heard the term post hardcore or to bring it to you guys, when I when I hear the term post punk, which is most associated with you guys, right. I right. don't think of it as a negative at all. I think of it as no. an extension. Like and that's yeah. literally how I, like when I first heard of the cure right. and you know, Susie or or the Smiths or Echo and the Bunnyman, like I, I just 
it, I was like, what? This is a whole new world beyond the Sex Pistols and the Ramones and the Clash. You know what I mean? And that, right. that was a net positive. Right. Um, so, you know, for, for those who don't know, for those who, are, who, are, who might be younger, who are, will come across your show, um, mm. just give us your take on what exactly post-punk is and what your place in it is. Mm. Okay, well, you know, I, I think that you, you nailed it there, Jake. I mean, for us, uh, punk was a complete revolution in our lives. So uh, that made us, both of us, actually get up and think about, hey, we can do it. Because before uh, punk, you know, you had two choices, really. You know, disco, which maybe, and, uh, you know, sort of progressive rock, which we could never, never do. So for us, it was a big cultural change. And... um you know, you're right with the fact of it, like being post something doesn't make it, but it was such a big change. We, it changed our lives completely and made us get up and, and do something. And 40 years mm. later, we're still kind of doing it. And the whole idea of Curious Creatures sort of came about from that. We were aware that it changed a lot of things for a lot of people, and it's still ongoing today. There, there's still things, you know, feeding out from that post-punk sort of start point you know it's like uh you know a star in space that has exploded and they're still reaching out to the far ends of the universe and um between me and budgie we probably know everybody in that yeah that oh we do you know. we do yeah. lol <laughs> yeah we, we know <laughs> people that don't know we know them yeah, yeah. right <laughs> yeah, and you, you have you've inspired so many people who have come generations later who right. clearly want to talk to you and open up and relate to you through your music and you relate to them through their music in, in right. these conversations. It's really compelling. Um, if you can, you know, before we, before we move on to our, to our next guest here, can you, can you give us a rundown of, of what are the guests you guys have coming up on curious creatures? Well, the, the, one of the interesting first, you mentioned, uh, James Murphy from LCD sound system. Mm -hmm. Um, I met James backstage at a festival in Scotland before everything closed down. Uh, and we were talking and drinking coffee. And it's so nice to then be able to get talking intimately, mm. making a safe space for all our guests, really, to, uh, as you say, to open up in a way maybe they haven't really done before. Uh, Mason Silver, Skateboarder of the Year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, that's funny because, you know, nobody would expect us to talk to, to you know, like Mason's like 22 uh, something, that, you know, he's very young, but he has an affection for the, the music that both of us have done. And, he told us, didn't he, yeah, Lando? He yeah. was like editing his, uh, his, his, his video shoots, you know, yeah. his, his kind of part to, yeah. to the music. It was yeah. like, this is the music he was listening to. That's the, yeah. So we, we see, we were trying to draw all the, you know, the, uh, connections out and then we have we have people like we have uh, terry nunn from berlin mm -hmm. and um we have michael dempsey from the, the cure from the very yeah. first version of the cure and um who else do we have this season i'm lost for words really got so <laughs> many people lined up i can't think who they are anymore well yeah. i'm really excited to, to, to dig in and to listen to all the episodes um it's a great show congratulations Guys, you. you've you've gone from post punk um, to post podcast. So, well, very... the other the other thing is we can also explain to to your your previous guest Andrew about that era that he doesn't understand about. Yes. you know, because we we've lived that era, so yeah. we can, we can tell him. So if he listens, you know, it'd be fine because I listen to his stuff. So. I think I we like need the to... idea that we can all get together and, and join in each of the show as well. That's gonna be yeah. that's what I was just going to say. We should do some sort of cross pod pollination here. Yeah. Where we can. Uh, I mean, that would be amazing to hear you guys educate Andrew. Oldham on your era of music would be <laughs> phenomenal. That'd be amazing. And then we'll get Tom Mullen to uh, come in and talk about post hardcore and right. Jazzy to come in and talk right. about modern hip hop. So there we yeah, go. Yeah, there we'll, you go. It's we'll all connected. It all we're, we're all one tribe. Yeah, exactly. Nice to see you, Jake. Nice Great. to see you. Great Cheers, seeing Jake. you guys. Thanks so much. Looking forward to talking soon and to listen to your show. Curious Creatures, everybody. That's Lowell and Budgie. We are moving along here in the happy hour. You know, we should do this more, Taylor, and try and, you know, get good at it and treat it as like, you know, as we're doing this, I'm, I'm thinking like, what if this were like, you know, we're backstage at a big show and you're sort of like milling about and you're like, oh shit, there's Andrew Oldham. I got to go talk to him for a minute. And then you go talk to him and then you're like, oh God, there's, there's Lowell from The Cure and, and Budgie from Susie and the Banshees. I got to go talk to him for a minute. 
and then you know oh, I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to Jazzy Bell I'm gonna talk to Tom like, how do I, I I feel like you know because I'm in it right now and I'm trying to keep the train rolling I, I can't tell if this is like happening as organically as I want it to but um, I definitely know we want to keep doing this yeah it um, feels good to me